So I'd like to give you the perspective from a retail point of view and uh, a few, I believe, practical uh, ideas, practical issues for Greek uh, retail both here and abroad. I think retailing is uh, totally different from the, uh, from the other sectors. And I believe also that the, uh, the issues, the challenges of the future are going to be very different. Just a few things about our group. Our group is a retail group, a regional one, listed in the Athens Stock Exchange. And we are present in five countries, Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey, Greece, and Cyprus. We operate seven IKEA stores, seven IKEA delivery points, 150 intersport and athletes uh, food uh, stores, and we employ approximately 4,000 people, out of which 1,500 are outside of Greece. Uh, more than a decade ago, we sold our retail chain of uh, electronics to Dixons. You probably know Kotsovolos. Uh, since then, we have been uh, implementing, I believe successfully, international tested uh, concepts in the region. Our success until now has been based on rather simple and fundamental retail principles. Right product to the market, local management. For the last 10 years, we have uh, full uh, local management, local people uh, driving our businesses there, be it in Turkey or in Romania. We also have centralized logistics in order to create uh, efficiencies and uh, lower costs. We have developed a local real estate know-how, which as you know for uh, retail is very important, in particular about uh, for IKEA, licensing, building processes, etc., and also good systems. However, having said all that, I believe that uh, Greek retail in general, and of course regional or multinational Greek retail companies, are in for a very challenging future. And there are two important reasons why uh, this is going to happen. The first reason is the development of global retail competition. The globalization of retail chains. Be it mono brands like uh, H&M, uh, Zara, or multi brands like uh, Intersport, for example, are growing faster and faster all over the world. So we have a globalized retail phenomenon taking place. The second reason for the challenges is going to be the new digital world. Just a few things about the first reason. In a recent study that we did in the neighboring 10 countries, in almost all sectors of consumer retail, at least two out of three market leaders, if not three, all three, were international brands. The one exception to this is Turkey, where local conditions are, are special. However, even in Turkey, we see examples like Decathlon or Intersport, who are grow, uh, growing very fast versus the local competition. In all of these countries, fashion monobrands, food retailers, DIY, consumer electronics, personal care, and even medicine, both over-the-counter and prescription, are part of international groups. There are, of course, exceptions. Why is that? Besides the, the available capital for fast store development, international chains have access to strong supply chain networks. Supply networks have become very important, as we all know. Information systems are also becoming a major investment for uh, retail groups, especially now with the development of big data and data analytics regarding the consumers. It is very important to have large investments in computer systems. And of course, another uh, advantage of international retail chains is the fact that they have the ability to do a lot of research, especially in the case of verticalized retail. It means retail, again, like Zara, where they design, they produce, and they distribute the products. So let's go now to the second main challenge for Greek retailers. Jack Ma, which I'm sure all of you know of Alibaba, 
defines new retail as the integration of online, offline logistics and data across a single value chain. And indeed, we have entered into a brave new digital world where retail is undergoing a revolution. The amazing technological advantages in digital data, robotics, internet proliferation and connectivity are changing the way retail operates. It is believed by researchers that by 2025, one out of four of all our consumer decisions will be made by technology as replenishment without our involvement. Goods and services are no longer enough. People increasingly desire experiences, memorable events that engage each individual in a personal way. As Doug Stevens says in his great book, which I recommend to all of you, Reengineering Re Retail. The, shop the shopping experience of the future will cease to distinguish be between the physical and the digital and will focus instead on the precise blend of both that that is ideally suited to the moment for the customer. So is the store dead? No, the stores are definitely not dead. But in the future, they have to be more complex, more inspiring, and more amazing. So where does Greek retail uh, stand in the middle of all this, especially multinational Greek retail? Without claiming that the following is a strict recipe, I would propose some approaches for Greek companies that would like to be successful in retailing. The first one the first one is unique product, a product that cannot be found anywhere else, which means verticalization from design to production to consumer. Folly Folly is an example of this. Cores in cosmetics is another example. So this is a competitive advantage that Greek retail companies can have. The second is becoming successful regional implementers of tested international concepts, something that our group has chosen to do with IKEA and Intersport. And it is definitely a, a strategic decision for Greek uh, companies to go around uh, the region, f even further than uh, the region, take advantage of the uh, opportunities, and repatriate pro profits to the benefit of, uh, of Greece. And finally, the third one, specializing in niche markets. Uh, Mr. Theodoropoulos before mentioned uh, Carpo, where Greeks uh, can excel, and also niche markets with local relevance, where it's not easy or it's not relevant for international companies to, to compete. So these are just some thoughts about the future of Greek uh, retail, national and international. The challenges are, are there, but I'm very optimistic about the future. Thank you.